Hello there. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can add your uh, Max Foundry account in your uh, BMO uh, tracker. So you can track all of your conversions uh, inside your Max Foundry account in your BMO. So first of all, you have to uh, add your affiliate network as Max Bounty. You are going to add, or we are going to talk about the Max Bounty. <coughs> like. Uh, you have to go to the new from the template and if you type here the max bounty you can uh, select the max bounty and click the next button I already added but let me show you then you have to copy this post break URL uh, just copy this post break URL and click save okay let me show you here you can see uh, you can see this is the same thing I just copy it and uh, the post break url is already copied now i have to paste it inside your max bounty account so you have to go to your max bounty account and you have to click on the edit file yes and uh, come to the bottom of the page so you can find the promotion methods and you can see the default post break code you can see let me make it bigger for you so we copied this link from uh, the BMO as a post break URL. Now I pasted the same link exactly as it is in the in this box. Default post break code inside the max bound account, and you can see default post break type. Uh, you must select this one URL. Any campaign tracking type, you must select this one. And let me delete this one and you just paste the same code you want to add so after that it should be the CID equal hash s2 equal uh, hash and payout should be the rate and you must delete or remove all these uh, tokens after the rate okay and tax ID optional and status otherwise uh, your tracking is not going to work for the tracking okay so you just exactly put it as it is uh, I'm showing here now you have to save it save settings now so uh, we already added uh, our affiliate network and it is already integrated with your max bound account as we already saved save post break URL inside your max bound account now you have to click on the save button now it is saved okay so as usual I already shown in the previous lecture you have to add your MGID we already added this in the uh, previous lecture so uh, now if you want to add the landing page we already talked about it before now I'm going to add an offer you have to click on the offer uh, let me show you how you can add offer click new uh, select an offer from the max account uh, let me show you silent snow I'm going to select this one okay uh, okay we are not going to uh, promote this offer we are not able to promote this offer because you have to take the approval before promoting this link or this offer and let me find another offer from here let me see this one. Yes, we can promote this one or we can use this um, purpose of this tutorial. Now you must select this one. Okay. Default post break URL and build tracking. Click build tracking and uh, what type of traffic you are going to send in your in this offer. Uh, it, it supports contextual display search uh, social native mobile apps you can find all of this so as we are going to use uh, MGID so it should be the native and select the raw link so you can find your link is available here this is your tracking or the affiliate link just click the copy your link is copied and go to your uh, BMO account and select the offer uh, click new and this pop-up will open you just paste the offer link here or the tracking link here and uh, type 
or give it a question mark or you can type here or you can give it a slash and question mark and then you have to write like this let me show you here you can see s2 equal to click id you have to add this token id can you see s2 equal click id and it is already selected or i can remove this one and just click here so it is already pasted here affiliate network should be the max boundary and you have to give it a name okay that's it and click save now you have to uh, go back again to your affiliate network click the max bounty click edit and just to remove this one append remove click id value just remove this one click save and boom you are good to go now let's create a campaign for the, for this offer new name it okay now select your traffic source mgid and your tracking url whatever you want to use and you select the donor track let me show uh, tell you uh, how you can track your uh, cost the problem you already told me and select the built-in flow as we are not using any landing page uh, stop this one select this offer our offer name was uh, this one win a 35 dollar cinema gift card max bounty and click save okay you are done you are done this is your campaign url if you are not using a pre lender or the pre sale page this uh, you have to promote this link or if you are using a landing page if you are going to use a landing page let me show you click funnels let me log into my click funnels let me also log into your mgid account okay i mean my click funnels account let me select a landing page let me show you this uh, you can imagine this is my uh, a landing page so i'm going to edit the page uh, okay wait before doing this uh, we have to copy this landing page link i just copied this link go to the landing page click new paste it here my max bounty offer landing page i just named named it and save okay landing page is saved now go to your campaign again select your campaign click edit so a pop-up will open again and you have to uh, active activate this one and click landing add landing and select your landing my max bounty offer landing okay and click the save button and it is saved now you have to select it again and you have to click the campaign links now just click on this landing page pixel of the pixel generator select HTTPS and select this one you have to copy this uh, tracking LP pixel code and go to the edit page and go here tracking code paste it inside the head tag the header click save now we have to just change this button button link you have to copy this button link from here and paste it here just remove all these things from here and okay now it is good just copy this whole link and you have to paste it inside for the button and you see i paste it and saved so your landing page is good to uh, be promoted online if you want to promote uh, a pre-sale page or the bridge page before uh, 
sending your traffic to your main offer page this is the system now this is your MGID let me log into your MGID account okay login you can see uh, one thing uh, here I did not uh, clicked on I clicked on this I selected this one do not track that means uh, I'm not tracking the cost of my ads okay here you can see I logged into your account like for this campaign you spent uh, 2.51 dollar 2.51 dollar so if you want to update this ad cost in your ad account you have to go to your bmob account and if it is the if it is the campaign you want to update the cost and if it is this the, uh, the same campaign uh, this is the same campaign or uh, and this is the same campaign so if i want to update the cost you have to copy or you just remember the amount i just copy it here come here I, I i want to update add cost for this campaign just select this one you have to click on the update cost you can see update cost and you just uh, select your start uh, uh, add add campaign start start time and end time you can select it from here like i spend it uh, from 20 to uh, till today how much it is it was this amount okay and save you can see uh, wait you know visits for this campaign oh you did not get any visits for this campaign let me select another campaign last seven days apply uh, yes so let me select this one update cost and let me select the time and uh, the last day and update your ad cost and save and boom your ad cost is updated so you can see how much you profited and how much you lost in your in this campaign okay so this is the way how you can update your ad cost so now you know how you can promote your CPA offers inside the uh, MGID how you can add your landing page to the beam of account how you can add your offers so I think everything is clear now if you have any more questions you can ask me anytime I'm available on the Skype so uh, feel free to ask me anytime any questions okay uh, see you bye bye thank you